Goodbye. Oh, sweet. You play the winner of the next I'm your buddy Matt Stick, uh, Streamlord, uh, and and Guilty Gear like virgin. Hi, Travis. Yeah, worked out pretty well. Oh yeah. got like all the other ninjas beat. I mean, teleports. Yeah. All right, one for Tiggy. Heaven or Suna. My bad. Let's rock. Oh yeah, chips enough. <laughs> I just know that it's sky in Japanese. It, it means sky in Japanese. Counter. Yep. Oh, jeez. She's got a devil on her shoulder. Oh. No, not at all. Not not really sure what he's trying to get going here, but it's not working very well. <laughs> I love how you said that like it's a normal sentence. Oh. Yes. Oh. Powerful block string there. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. These shenanigans. Oh! Man, that was the longest round of my life. That was one round. Two or two. All or nothing. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Pop your stance to send uh, energy along the ground. Oh, damn. Oh, cinematic. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the insight into this game is unbelievable. Oh, here we go. Tiggy's about to get offensive. Oh. For, Castle, for Castlevania monsters are to no effect. Yeah. 
Oh. It means sky. Yeah. Oh, right. He's absolutely right. Yep. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Now we can see Travis. You know what? Screw it. Now we can see the both of us. The the uh, the amazing abilities of uh of pivoting screens that you drop outside on the concrete. Which I need to figure out a way to keep my keep myself from echoing. Maybe that's it. Yeah, there we go. I can't hear myself anymore. All right. Unfortunately, I cannot do this for the entire thing because I'm going to forget to put the mic back on. So I'm just going to put this back. All right. Hey, we got a viewer. What's up, Minion? Not you. <laughs> You're playing, not watching. All right. But uh, yeah, we got meaningless name over here getting ready to go. Gonna be playing uh, our host, Perfidious Sin. Stream, Luzowski, Luzowski stream. We can watch both there, and I'm going to do over here just for director's purposes, but yeah, we can see what's happening right there. How's it going, man? Uh, yep, we got we got Travis, a.k.a. Perfidious Sin, versus uh, Meaningless Name over there. I don't know how any of this plays. It's all a crazy, wacky, fun time for me. All right. And neither of them are Korean, so this is going to be real interesting. Oh my goodness! Hey, Pristel's in the chat. Pristel, what's happening, man? It's weird because I can look at you over here, or I can look at you over there. <laughs> well, yeah, the uh, guys are getting their stuff uh, together here. Who knows what will happen in this crazy world of gods and rock and roll jokes? Maybe. How do how do I want to get copyright ID? Let's let's figure it out. Oh hey, it's Henry everybody. Say hi Henry. A's away. Beautya Castle War Room. All right, Jacko and Eno. Jacko versus Eno. Get ready to run. I should I should leave that up a little longer. That's fine. Oh, it's run check. Okay, cool. Oh, back Heaven to this then. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's, Let's rock. Book night. <laughs> Honestly, Jacko should be some kind of Michael Jackson parody. Already got Axel Lawrence. Oh yeah, for sure. It's basically JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
There's the Michael Jackson reference. Alright. Perfidious just setting up some kind of wall. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Looks like these characters are both a lot of work. Oh. Whoa! Oh. All right. Well, Perfidia's taking that first round. Jack a win. Two of the two. All or nothing. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, a good dash. I'm liking all these anti-airs that Perfidious is throwing out. Uh, oh yeah, you are not kidding about this being a, uh, a, a MMO, yeah, like a, a MOBA versus a shmup. Oh, that's one for Perfidious. Heaven or hell, duel, one, one. Let's rock. Yep. Oh, not only can she plant them and they have life bars, but they also have levels that they can attain. That is a really crazy game uh, mechanic there. I love it. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's not going to de de detract from the coolness of it, but yes, I'm sure it would be very frustrating to play against. He is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Must construct additional pylons. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Nope. These King Pumpkins, I love them. Meaningless. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope. Hey, nice, nice one, bro. I was gonna say, I assume the shield does no damage on its own, it just stops projectiles and the like. Okay. Well. Oh, yeah, for to absolutely. Hey, you stop any one kind of damage, you gotta make the opponent think about what's coming in. Hey, we're up to four viewers. What's up, four viewers? Let's throw it back to everything so you can see our beautiful faces. Hey, how's it going? So, uh, this is Lazowski. I'm Matchstick. Uh, welcome to our Guilty Gear uh, Zerd Revelator 2 tournament tonight from uh, beautiful Donato's on the OSU campus. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, baby. Uh, we, we play all the fighting games here. We're not good at any of them, but we play them. Dude, Thulius is the man at Pokémon. Like, Thulius is the exception that proves the rule. Dude, didn't he get like second at, in Japan at, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about you. 
Let's see who's uh, let's see who's coming up. We got this uh, got this handy bracket thing here. So looks like Mr. Two and Thulius have already played. Mr. Two was able to come out over Thulius 2-0. And I'm guessing we're either gonna see Totally Not Potemkin and Perfidious Sin or the Keist and Suna. Oh, and it's gonna be the Keist and Suna. So, let me just get those guys in here. The Keist. Suna. Now we're in winners round two. Got it. Hey, uh. There you go. The white one? Okay. Going to red pad for... What is that noise, huh? Oh. Oh, that's just the, the menu button. Alright, awesome. Who dares to enter the menu? Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Look at, look at him hamming it up there. Yeah, get on your glasses, nerd, said the guy that's one of three people out of four wearing glasses in this shot. I know. I, I'm, I'm the star from 360 degrees. How you doing, Wazowski? Can you hear me okay? Alright, I'm good. I'm hearing you pretty well, alright. And the music's fine. Too loud, too quiet. Good time. Well, we lost a couple of viewers, but we, we, we kept the ones that matter, that's what I say. Alright, you guys doing button check? No? Alright. They're going for it. I love Soul Bad Guys. It's a goddamn good name. Soul Bad Guys. Yep. Heaven or Hell. Duel. Duel. Let's rock. That's why you should go with Soul Bad Guy. All right. Now this is going to be a completely different thing than what we just saw in the last round because I know for I know from what I saw with Suna playing earlier, uh, chips are very up front in your face, lots of teleports and mix ups. Yep. Oh. Oh. Nice. Good stuff by Keese. Let's see what kind of combos he's got. Oh. Unfortunately, nothing safe enough to be countered. It's not over yet. Oh. Nice air recovery. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. All right. Round one going to Suna. Duel. Keep on rocking. Oh. That is a good chunk of health right out the get-go. Oops, I've got these back. I've got these backwards. So that's what's going on. Suna is playing chip. There we go. It's all better. He's doing pretty well this uh, this round, holding his own almost. Yep. And uh, ground pound. Yep. Oh. Oh, he had him open and let it go. That's all right. One for Suna. Heaven or hell. Duel. One. Let's rock. Oh! Oh yeah! Nice strong opening uh, from the keys here. He may be on the defensive, but no. Oh! Oh! DP missed. Oh! Get 
get out, got in on him. Dual, all or nothing. Okay. Oh, it's not over yet. Reject it. That was a strong aerial combo. Soon opening him back up. Oh! Right. And oh, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. And as the Keast walks off into the sunset, we can see who's going to come up next. Might be you. Against Totally Not Faust. Oh, it's Henry! Uh, you're gonna be with Lazowski first round, uh, yeah, in this, uh, thing, but we're not sure if that's the next match, so as soon as... Well, actually, at very well, maybe, because totally not Potemkin is playing Perfidious Sin over there, so... I'd say you guys can just go for it. Keys, do you want to sit in and commentate? Alright. So this will be a treat. Uh, totally not Faust. What's happening, my buddy Keast? So I, uh, I got day one. I got day one by, uh, Yep, but hey, you got another round to go, so, I mean, you, you, can, you can bring it all the way back through losers. Take that 50 bucks. Who dares the Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's see. Lizowski. There we go. Still winners round two. Alright. So we're about to get going here. Here we go. You know what? I don't know enough about either of these players' history in the game to, to call it, but I think Lazowski knows a little bit more about this than than uh than not Faust does, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> they can both hear us. Let's rock. All right. Oh. Yep. Okay. What's that? Oh yeah. Oh. Well, it is Henry, so more than likely he has a good basic knowledge of what he wants to do. The only problem is, Lazowski can make basic knowledge look, uh, kind of silly. Oh. Yep. I don't doubt it. Lazowski, a long-time MASH player in SFD, that character requires a lot of precise timing and execution. So, that would just fit with his current, with his play MO. Yep. I really love the transition from uh, 2 to 3D in this game. It, it, it is buttery smooth. Yeah. Yep. It's not over yet. Uh, unfortunately. Oh. oh. There goes the uh there goes the perfect. Oh. And slash. <laughs> and nope. Heaven or hell. He's everybody else but Faust. Is not Faust. This cannot be denied. Oh, whoa! Did he have seven scars on his chest? Yeah, me too. People are starting to ask me questions in chat, and I'm just like, uh, I don't know. 
Turn up the heat. Yep. I'm waiting for somebody to play Biken. I love I love it when Final Fantasy uh, 13 characters get their own fighting game uh, rendition. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Ooh. I, you love a good Yoshimitsu type character. You really do. Oh. Yeah. Well, that is it for Mr. Uh, Not Faust. Which means Axel Low wins. So, our TO will decide where we proceed in the uh, tournament at this point. Yep, and then uh, Lozowski be totally not Faust 2-0. We're just, we're just having a 2-0 a kind of day out here. <laughs> What's this totally not name? Lozowski beat Faust. Yep, Lozowski beat Faust. Right, he wasn't Faust at all. Mm -hmm. Played a lot like Faust, but just, just couldn't carry it off. Right, yep. This is Nate, by the way. <laughs> over there. Okay. But, the, but this, uh... This uh, overlay that I came up with ten minutes before the uh, before the, the thing uh, certainly paid off. Yep. That's yeah, a background for room, but yeah. But I, I tailored I tailored the colors to the to the Guilty Gear game. Thanks. I'm getting real good at working with 16 by 9 rectangles. Wow, I can't believe we actually have five people watching at the moment, including my good friend Pristel Boogans out of uh, <laughs> out of Mansfield. Good old Boog Nights. He's always there. So personally, I would love to see a, a, a fight involving uh, totally not Potemkin because uh, that guy knows his J fighters. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Pristel. Oh, that's going to be a short one. All right, so we're going into losers, it looks like. Yep. All right. Oh, all right. Well, good luck there, Keist. Let's see, losers round one. Yeah, come on in. Do, do you know the game at all? Okay. Should I be that guy? Yeah, go ahead. It doesn't matter. Good throw. Good throw. No, nice throw. Pick up DP throw. Nice, nice cancel for that DP into the aerial throw. <laughs> cancel throw into throw. <laughs> well, you know, if King was if, if King was in this game, he could do that. There you go. Yeah, but the, for full douche levels, you gotta wear the sunglasses. Yeah, but I'm saying that that's only half the package. Your shirt on, I got the. Mike, Versa, Eno. 
it, if yeah, I wanted to, I could make your headphones light up as well. You do you, Captain. Alright. So, I think they're getting right into it. Let's rock. Let's rock. Counter. Okay, so this is a J fight. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so, uh, from what I was told earlier, the uh, the witch with the guitar plays a lot more like a shmup than a traditional fighter. I don't have much info on uh, Mikan, but I understand people have been waiting for her for a long, long time. She seems to be a very uh, um, offensive style character, uh, very kind of Yoshimitsu, I guess, if you're uh, following Soul Calibur at all. But she, she's got some good basic tools. Uh, and she's very, very strong offensively. Probably not too many long, uh, not too many long execution-heavy combos. She's just in there to do some damage and, you know, do her one safe move to follow up for more damage. Uh, Biken. I love the tatami flip. Like that's that's just great. I know I hate getting in the hitting in the face with straw. All, all the time, just those. Those guys with the with the tractor just come up at me and just like throw a bunch of straw in my face. I'm like, eh, Dude, eh, get away! Now I really want to see what Eno can do, but I don't think Minus Lane has the basics down to uh, to actually execute a lot of what she's got. This is, this is going to be a very day one type play from him. Oh, dizzy! And in true J-Fighter uh, uh, fashion, they have the what you need to do to get out of Dizzy right over her head. True. But, but, but like any feature, you should be able to turn it off. Like, like, ban like bananas in Smash Brothers Brawl. Or, or, sorry, not bananas, but slipping. Whatever, man. Items rock. I will challenge anybody. Final destination, all items, heavy, uh, heavy flow. <laughs> I think I've just made new terminology. <laughs> go for it. Oh, there we go. Yes. You know, a, a good solid strategy is always wait and see what's safe, throw out your quickest move, see what you can follow up with, and, and if it's a formula that can work for you, keep going with it. Stylistically, I like Eno's uh, incorporation of her guitar strings into her attacks, that she can unstring and, and actually attack with her strings and then restring very quickly. Yeah. Keep on rocking. Now. Oh yeah. The uh, well, you should have seen. Uh, uh, Perfidious Sin was playing with um, uh, a uh, a character whose name escapes me at the moment. But her her gimmick was basically to set up units on the ground like a uh, like a MOBA or um, you know, or yeah, like a top down MMO, and uh, they grow in strength over time. And uh, yeah, just basically. Uh, launch their own offensive while the character remains free to, to do whatever they need to. Which includes, I guess, strengthening the units and, and launching projectiles and all this other stuff. It was really amazing. But back to this match. Looks like, uh... Looks like Thulius is gonna find his, uh... Oh, oh there you go! Found his groove, and that is a straight 2-0 in Thulius' favor. Thulius has a lot of, yeah. Thulius has a lot of experience across the board in fighting games, just in general. Like, there's not much you can say one way or the other about his experience. I mean, we're talking about a guy who got second in Pokémon in Japan. He walked into their backyard and went, yeah, I'm like second best in the world. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. He did! He, he was even sponsored for a little while. It's true. We send all of our, our good people away. Waiting for the day when uh, Rob TV just takes off on the West Coast and never looks back. 
So uh, let's uh, let's examine the the bracket here and see who we might be having come up here. If it's totally not Faust, then it's gonna be versus Tiggy. Yeah. There we go. Still losers round one though. Bringing it back. Oh, let's get the chat up. Three people watching. What's up, three people? Yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> oh, Drinky, was that a Drinky Crow? That was Drinky Crow as, as the profile picture. That's amazing. Oh, we lost one. Can't congratulate people. They'll run from you. It's true. So, um, I don't know, uh, I guess in this, in this dead period I can bring this up. So, uh, not, not Guilty Gear related, but, uh, Spencer Casey, a, uh, member of the Smash community, is hosting, uh, COST, uh, Columbus, Ohio Smash Tournament, I believe is the acronym there. Uh, mid, mid, uh, January, uh, January, mid-July, or June, God, I don't know. It, I think it's coming up in a few weeks. Um, yeah, it is actually. 20, 20 days. 20 days is coming up. And uh, Matchstick Melee will be there to stream and record official streaming st service of cost. Woo! Nah, you know what? I'm here to do a good job for, for all you guys because as far as uh, talent goes, I don't have any, so... We did, uh, oh, and we're looking into doing um, Injustice 2 monthlies. And, you know, whatever else pops up. We're waiting on. Yeah! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're gonna have Injustice 2 stuff. I might even uh, run a tournament on my own at a uh, separate venue soon. What is this bullshit? English chat mode. Have I? I didn't mean to. I mean, it's not like I have too many foreign viewers anyway. Yeah, sorry to our Spanish, Korean, Vietnamese, Japanese. Although to be fair, we do actually have on on Matchstick Melee on YouTube, we have a solid contingent of Japanese viewers. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's mostly for uh, Street Fighter and uh, Marvel, but yeah. Hey, there's Tiggy. Oh, okay, so Tiggy's gonna take the uh, the player two spot. All right. So, um, Tiggy and uh, totally not Faust here. Probably, probably gonna be on roughly the same skill level going into this. So this ought to be a pretty good one to watch. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's totally Drinky Crow. Travis Boswell, Travis Drinky Crow Boswell in his profile picture. Yep. Um, let's see. So we got Faust versus. Oh, Dizzy. Okay, so Dizzy's got like an angel and a devil on her shoulder. Um, she's got a very like wooden. But she's projectile heavy. If I if I if I'm correct, I think so. Yes. Chocolate bar. You got you got to eat those mid fight. There's that ice fish. Oh, nice throw. Into more throws. Oh, yeah. It, it's a 10 hit throw. Just like Tekken. So, that's my favorite move right there the flaming demon head that shoots a fire laser at the end of its motion. <laughs> All right. So Tiggy taking round one. Let's see what totally not Faust can uh, can do to counter that. 
He doesn't have much of a distance game. He mostly has that open door teleport from what I've seen. Doesn't seem very successful most of the time, but it, it looks like it is, it's an extension of a base teleport in which he disappears into the floor. So it looks like he has the option of either appearing above or to the side of his opponent. Oh, there we go. comes the super. Oh! Powerful stuff. Well, she is pretty projectile heavy, but she might just use them as more. They may not be the base of her damage. So, it may be, they may be set up tools to get in and use her angel and devil uh, powers for uh, getting the job done. Yeah, they, okay, so they seem mostly like Krauser. She does have a wide assortment of them, so I, I'm going to maintain my analysis that she's a pretty projectile-heavy character. Oh, absolutely. Nah. Oh. <laughs> this man with a paper bag on his head is trying to lick people as an attack. Oh, jeez. You know, I was calling, uh, I was calling Baiken the, uh, the Yoshimitsu of this game earlier. Uh, if, if that's Yoshimitsu, then, uh, Faust is definitely the Baldo. Oh. Alright. Uh-oh. Caught him pressing buttons. No! That's round one in game two. Yep. Oh. There you go. Now see, that is Faust's big advantage. He's a very tall guy with a very long stick. He's got the reach. There you go. Trying to get the, uh, the unblockable setup going. Hey, that's the first time that's hit. In front, of, in front of woodwork too, but I'm not sure how often that would happen unless you just conditioned your opponent so often to expect it from behind that suddenly, you know, in front is, is what happens. Oh yeah. Uh, oh! I have no idea what's going on. No, no clue. Well, that was a pretty legit ending. Even if we didn't know what it was. Dizzy, who doubles as Squirrel Girl on the weekend. I'm going to ignore the, uh, the provided closed captioning and assume that she's saying, now it's time for your anal probe, sir. <laughs> Well, you know, as a doctor, I'm sure he has to do many. Alright, so that finishes up Losers Round 1. Uh, that looks like Lazowski and Perfidious Sin. That would be a Winners Round 3 fight that they're doing over there. Um, for our purposes, we... Well, let's see. Yeah... This should already be full, though. It's very, like, it's very jazzy, like, like... This ad's totally in the way. Fuck off, ad. It's, this is all I got. No. Fine. Uh, 
huh? <laughs> Alright, so we could have Thulius and Ola over here doing stuff. Oh, okay. I wonder if we can have somebody go grab him. Hey, Thulius, do you know who Ola is? If you want to grab him, he's your opponent. Oh, that guy. Alright, set this up for losers round two. Julius and Ola. Hoop. Of course, to be honest, that's just who I expect will play. I'm not gonna promise that's who's gonna actually play. True, but if they actually get the hell over here, then. <laughs> oh, we dropped out back down to our one viewer. Yep. That's alright, we are only streaming at 360p, I imagine that's a little hard to watch, even if it is, even if we're only dropping 2% of our frames, which, you know, is pretty baller. Considering the, the strength of, of the Donato's Wi-Fi. No, it's all, it's all the laptop. Yes. Either that or you need a forward-facing cap with a completely flat, super-wide brim. And, and a chain. No. No. No, plenty of rednecks. And, and, yeah, plenty of rednecks do that. We're waiting on Ola. Unless you want to do something else now that you're done. Yep. Today's broadcast is brought to you by 720p. When you want to have it just good enough. <laughs> That's all right. Apparently, I heard a rumor. Well, I mean, the the, the game. Uh, yeah. Oh, are we gonna do Suna versus Mr. Two? Oh, that sounds like it's going to be great. These guys are J-Fighter veterans. I'm sure they've played every Guilty Gear up until this point, too. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, we might have to get Perfidious Sin in on this one if, uh, if we want quality commentary, because... Yep. We'll just, I'll just turn off our microphones. And we'll just, yep. Don't even worry about it. Just, don't, don't even trip, dog. You're, you're, a, you're a boy, dog. Just get all your shit. Get all the big basket. Put it in a backpack. I don't care. Take it down to the shit store. <laughs> Just get it together. All right, let me put in these names then. Who dares to enter the name? Who dares to be a millionaire? All right, so this is actually winners, right? Winners round three, I believe, yeah. I got that. Winner semi one. Gentlemen, is this button check or are you going for it? You going for it? All right. Okay, so Suna continuing on with uh, Chip. Mr. Two, I'm not sure who that is, Johnny? Johnny on the spot. What a badass intro. Yep. He's totally a JoJo character. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chip looks like uh, Blackstar from, uh, oh jeez. Soul Reaver. Or, um. Is that it? Soul Leader. That's it. Uh, 
Oh yeah, absolutely. In the in the fine tradition of characters like Galford from Samurai Showdown and uh, Ryu Hayabusa from uh, Ninja Gaiden. And whoever that guy is from Marvel Cat vs. Capcom. Strider! Yep. Oh. Alright, Mr. Two is in the uh, the critical area, but Suna has now joined him. Um, I would say Johnny maybe has a little bit of a range advantage on Chip, but Chip is definitely an in-your-face fighter. He can fight at range if he needs to, but his, his big damage comes from being up close and doing long extended combos. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Johnny's really about setup and uh, powerful strikes. Oh, tried to cross him up. Didn't quite work. Landed him into a block string. Oh, but here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh! Counter battle! Oh! Is this gonna do it? Yeah! All right, that's one apiece. Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh! Put him into a stun state, that had to hurt. Oh. oh, I had no idea Chip had a full screen uh, uh, slash attack there. Oh! I'm interested to see what this resource is that flew out of uh, out of Johnny and into Chip. Yeah, I mean, at, at the moment it hits me as the same as a uh, as one of the roses from uh, Dudley in Street Fighter 4. Oh. Well, that is one game for Mr. Two. But this clearly is going to be a good fight. So let's see what happens next time around. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, that really was. Everything has been pretty much a straight, uh, straight run through. Are we going to take it back to character select? Oh, you know, it's always a good, uh, always a good tactic if you need a breather. You need to think about your options. Huh? Huh? Oh, I see. It seems we're having a little bit of technical difficulty. Um, soon, if you need a if you need a new stick, I've got mine right here. Okay. All right. So, scream. All right. I freshly updated it before I brought it in today. Uh, but yeah, just be aware that I don't know if it's caught up to the 4.7 update the PS4 is on. So. I don't think you guys are going to take eight minutes to, to finish your your game. All right. So, uh, yeah, in a in a in a Columbusian uh, show of uh, of community, I have loaned out my stick to uh, to Suna. I do what I can. Yeah, let's let's throw it back to everything while we make sure while Suna checks his buttons for round for game two. Oh, we just doing it? Okay. All right. 
No button check. Heaven or Soon heaven. as going Two balls to the wall. Here we go. Let's rock. Okay. Oh. All right. So, looks like we have a strong opening salvo from Suna. Yo. Chip really pouring it on there. A lot of big moves, it looks like. Oh! I love a drop kick. Chip just became my favorite character in the game. That's what got me playing Siegfried and Soul Calibur was the drop kick. Oh, strong corner coming up. Oh! Accidentally running into whatever Johnny was throwing out there. We got some just guards. Oh! Changed up his timing in the air into a nice little mix-up. Oh, into a throw. What kind of stuff is... Oh! I would have been surprised if that, if that had gone to air to air or ground to air. All right, well. Absolutely. That was totally like a ground takedown. Soon up one round in game two. Oh! Yeah. Counter. Yep. Chip seems like a really interesting character. Actually, every character in this game seems really interesting. They, they all have very, like... Oh, I see. It's filling up the burst meter when that happens. Okay. Counter. I assume that's like a power-up state, uh, different from the super mode, or from the actual super move, I mean. Oh! Coins are OTG. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, we had a good setup there. Oh, he dropped the combo, though. Oh, caught him. And that'll do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is a game of peace. Oh, nice DP. Little ground combo. Oh, flips out of the counter attack. Suna going really good from trade into his own combos. Oh, unless he gets knocked down, apparently. Oh, these coins are just flying everywhere. And pay for all the Reaper fairies. Looks like Mr. Two is really turning up the offense in this third game. Yeah. I get it. Oh, all right. That's a good start. Oh. Oh. Johnny making the hard blocks. Oh. Unfortunately, not that one. Commentator's curse, let's call it. Oh, nice crouch to open him up. Will this corner combo get you? Nope. Mr. Two finds himself the last second and finishes John or sorry, finishes Chip off. Keep on It really is. This is this probably is like seeing grand finals in the semifinals. Oh yeah. I'm I'm very certain we'll see a run back either way. Oh, this round is completely different so far from the last one. Suna really taking it to Mr. Two. Yep. He definitely does not want to uh, to lose here for sure. Oh, nice. Caught up with the grab. OTG. And... Oh. Didn't have the, the ability to finish it off just there. Oh, there we go. All right. This is it. M match point. Johnny's range is just is just killer. Like, I mean, clearly he's using the sword draw style, which 
is a silly thing in the real world, but it's like, no, I'm sorry, friction does not make your sword go faster. <laughs> But uh, the area that he covers is very tight and compact, and that's what you want with a, with a sword-type character. You don't want to see them aiming away from the character with their normals. Yep. Oh. oh, oh! Mr. Two really turning it on in the back half of this round. Oh! Mr. Two taking it. Very, very close. That was that was thoroughly enjoyable, start to finish. If you want to hang on to it. Okay. I mean, I'm, I think I've got a, a slightly stiffer one in my... In my... Yeah, that feels kind of... That feels akin to what I've got. 